Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all. Myself, Nobel sir. Some of you may be knowing me. Today, I am going to take a lesson, chapter four, for class eight students. Chapter four is practical geometry. That is construction of quadrilaterals. We have a four different methods of constructions. We are going to learn one by one. The first method of construction is when four sides and one diagonal are given. As an example question, I take exercise 4.1, question number one, second one. The question is construct a quadrilateral gem in which JU is equal to 3.5 cm, UM is equal to 4 cm, MP is equal to 5 cm, PJ equal to 4.5 cm and PU equal to 6.5 cm. Before we go to the construction, let us consider a rough figure for this. This is the quadrilateral gem. Here we can mark the measures. Ju is equal to 3.5, Um is equal to 4, Mp is equal to 5, Pj is equal to 4.5, and Pu. Pu means here it is the diagonal which is 6.5. So, this is a construction of quadrilateral when four sides and one diagonal are given. When you join one diagonal, the quadrilateral is divided into two triangles. So, here actually we are going to construct two triangles together so that we will get a quadrilateral. We can start the construction with any side. Here I am going to start the construction with the side JU, with the scale. You draw a line segment of length of 3.5 cm. So I draw a line segment of length 3.5 cm and it is JU. Now you have a UP or PU is 6.5. You have to use the compass that is rounder. Take 6.5 cm using the scale that is we are going to draw an arc of a 6.5 cm radius from the point U. So here I am going to draw the 6.5 cm something like this. The next one is a PJ is 4.5. So take 4.5 cm radius on the rounder and with the J as center draw an arc which will intersect the previously drawn arc like this. So we are getting the point of intersection of the two arcs drawn joined to J and U. This is 6.5 cm, this is 4.5 cm. Half of the quadrilateral is completed. Now we have to find the vertex M. For that, the length of UM is 4 cm. Take this as the radius on the rounder, that is compass, and draw an arc with the U as center. With the U as center, draw an arc of radius 4 cm. Now, PJ, sorry, PMP is 5 cm. Take 5 cm radius. And with the P as center, this is the point P, which is to be given. Now, with the point P, that is the vertex P as center, draw an arc of radius 5 cm. I hope you, all of you know how to take a 5 cm radius on the compass. So, with the P as center, take 5 cm radius and draw an arc. So they will intersect at point M. Now you can join PM and UM. So this is 4 cm and this is 5 cm. My dear students, 
the shape of the figure may be different from what you are going to get because these measurements are not accurate. So this is how we can draw a quadrilateral when four sides and one diagonal are given. So simply I explain first draw a line segment JU which is 3.5 cm now PU is 6.5 take 6.5 radius on the compass and with the U as a center draw an arc like this that is what I have drawn here now PJ is 4.5 take 4.5 cm radius on the compass and with the J as center draw an arc the two arcs will intersect at the point give it P join PJ join PU Next is to find the vertex M for that. UM is 4 cm. Take 4 cm on compass and with the U as center, draw an arc. The radius of this arc must be 4 cm. And now MP is 5 cm. Take 5 cm radius on the compass and then draw an arc with the P as center, which will intersect to the previously drawn R and that point is M. Join MU PM. This is 4.5 cm, this is 6.5 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. The quadrilateral is complete. My dear students, I hope you understood how to construct a quadrilateral when four sides and one diagonal are given. Based on this construction, you all must practice question number one and the third of exercise 4.1. The next method of construction is when three sides and the two diagonals are given. As an example question, I take exercise 4.2 question number one, first question. The question is construct a quadrilateral lift in which Li is equal to 4 cm, IF is equal to 3 cm, TL is equal to 2.5 cm, LF is equal to 4.5 cm and IT is equal to 4 cm. To understand well, I draw a rough figure of quadrilateral lift here. Quadrilateral lift is drawn with the Li 4 cm, IF 3 cm, TL 2.5 cm, LF which is a diagonal 4.5 cm and TI or IT that is also a diagonal 4 cm. So this is a construction of a quadrilateral when three sides and two diagonals are given. Here I start the construction with the side LI. Here also we are going to complete the construction of the quadrilateral by drawing two different triangles. One is triangle LIT and the second is triangle LIF. So for both of these triangles, LI is a common side. So I start the construction with the side LI. So use the scale to draw a line segment of length 4 cm. So we have a Li is equal to 4 cm. Next you have to use the compass for the rest of the constructions. First we have to find the point T. We have TL is equal to 2.5 cm. So take 2.5 cm radius on the compass and with the L as center draw an arc. Now TL or IT, so TI or IT is 4 cm, IT is 4 cm, take 4 cm radius on the compass and draw an arc with the I as the center. I as the center means keep the metal point of the compass at I and draw an arc of radius 4 cm, definitely that will intersect the previously drawn arc at point T that is this point is T. 
you can join the L and the I. So one triangle is complete. Here it is a uh, sorry two point five centimeter and this is four centimeter. The next step is to find the vertex F. For that, we are given the diagonal LF is equal to four point five centimeter. Take four point five centimeter radius on the compass. And draw an arc with the L as center. So the radius of this arc is a 4.5 centimeter. And the, the side IF is 3 centimeter. So take 3 centimeter radius on the compass and draw an arc with the I as center, which will intersect this at uh, some point like this. This is the vertex. Now you can join IF LF. Here it is 3 cm and this is 4.5 cm. If you join TF, the quadrilateral is complete. Again, I remind the students the shape of the quadrilateral may be different from what you are going to get. This construction is not. Uh, based on the accurate measurements, only uh, approximate uh, measurements. So I again explain the construction in a simple way. First, I draw a line. A line is a uh, four centimeter. Now, LT or TL is two point five centimeter. So make an arc of radius. 2.5 cm with the L as center, 2.5 cm. Now TL or IT is 4, 4 cm. So draw an arc of radius 4 cm with the I as center, which will intersect at the point T. Join LT, IT. Next is to find the vertex F. The length of diagonal LF is 4.5 cm. Take 4.5 cm radius on the compass and draw an arc of radius 4.5 cm with the L as center. Next, draw an arc of radius 3 cm with the I as center, which will intersect and you will get the point F. Join IF, LF. This is a 3 cm, this is 4.5 cm, this is 4 cm, this is a 2.5 cm. So we have constructed two triangles joined TF to get the required quadrilateral lift. My dear students, I hope all of you understood how to construct a quadrilateral when three sides and the two diagrams are given. As a practice, you do the question number 2 of exercise 4.2. The third method of construction of a quadrilateral is where two sides and three angles are given. Here, as an example, I take question number 1 second of exercise 4.3. The question is, construct a quadrilateral plan, PLAN, in which PL is equal to 4 cm, LA is equal to 6.5 cm, angle A is equal to 90 degree, angle A is equal to 110 degree and angle N is equal to 85 degree. Based on these measurements, uh, I have drawn a rough figure here, quadrilateral plan PLAN, angle P 90, angle A 110, angle N 85. Side PL is 4 cm and the side LA is 6.5 cm. My dear students, when you have to construct a quadrilateral, when two sides and three angles are given, the three angles must be connected to the two sides given. That is, here side PL and LA are given, so we need the angles, angle P, angle L and angle A. But instead of angle L, we are given angle N. With angle N, the construction is not possible. So, to complete the construction, we need angle L. 
How can you find out angle L? You know that the sum of four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. That is the angle sum property of a quadrilateral. By using the angle sum property of a quadrilateral, we can first find the measure of angle L. By angle sum property, angle P plus angle L plus angle A plus angle N is equal to 360 degree that is angle P 90 plus angle L plus angle A 110 plus 85 is equal to 360 degree therefore we get angle L is equal to 360 minus 90 plus 110 200 plus 85 285 360 minus 285 you will get a 75 degree so my dear students here by angle sum property we are getting the measurement of angle L is equal to 75 degree now the construction is possible so here we start the construction with the side PL. So draw a line segment PL which is equal to 4 cm. Now angle L is 75. You can use a protractor to mark angle 75. For that keep the center of the protractor at L. Start counting from LHS 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and then you mark the 75 degree and construct or complete the angle 75. So what is the measurement of angle? This must be 75 degree and this construction can be done by protractor. Now we have PL, angle L 75. What is LA? LA is 6.5. Take 6.5 cm on your rounder from the scale, rounder means compass from the scale and uh, cut an arc of radius 6.5 cm with the LR center. So this is something 6.5 cm. 6.5 cm this is A. This is 6.5 cm. So PL is 4 cm. LA is 6.5 cm. Now angle A is 110 degree. This angle also can be constructed by using protractor. Keep the protractor at A. The center of the protractor must be at the vertex A. And the baseline of the protractor should coincide with the side of LA. And uh, you start counting from here 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 100 and 110. That means at the A you will mark 110 degree and draw an arc. So this will be 110 degree. So we have PL, we have LA, and now we have to find the point N. For that, at P you draw an angle of 90 degree, that also by using protractor. Keep the protractor at P, start counting from RHS right side 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and hence to draw an angle of 90 degree. Now see the construction. You can see that these two angles meet at the point N and as a result you are getting the quadrilateral plan in which PL is 4 cm, LA is 110, uh, sorry 6.5 cm, angle P 90 degree, angle L is 75 degree and angle A is 110 degree. After the construction, if you measure angle N, you will see that it will be 85 degree. My dear students, the shape of the quadrilateral may be different from what you are going to get in your notebook. Once again, I repeat. Draw a line segment PL of 4 cm. At L, draw an angle of 75 degree with the protractor. 75 degree. 
this is 75 degree now mark a that is la is equal to 6.5 cm for that with the l as center 6.5 cm as radius cut an arc this is a 6.5 cm now at vertex a draw an angle of 110 degree keep the protractor at a and the 0 10 20 30 40 you can see you will get a 110 degree like this now angle p is 90 keep the protractor at p and draw 90 degree so 90 degree 110 degree 75 degree this point of intersection will be the vertex n if you measure the angle of n you will get a 85 degree you must get 85 degree my dear students, this is how to construct a quadrilateral when two sides and three angles are given. You have to do exercise 4.3, question number 1 and 3 for the practice. The fourth and the final method of construction is when three sides and the two angles are given. As an example, I take a question number 1, first one of exercise 4.4. The question is, Construct a quadrilateral DER, D E A R, in which D E is equal to 4 cm, E A is equal to 5 cm, A R is equal to 4.5 cm, angle E is equal to 60 degree, and angle A is equal to 90 degree. Based on these measurements, sir, here we have a rough figure. D E is 4 cm, E A is 5 cm, A R 4.5 cm. Angle E 60 degree and angle A 90 degree. Here the construction is very simple. Here I draw the side EA first, which is 5 cm with the scale. You can draw the side EA which is 5 cm. Now you have to draw angle 60 degree at E because angle E is 60 degree. For that, you can use protractor. Use the protractor, keep at the E and the mark 60 degree and then draw the angle 60 degree. Similarly, angle A is 90 degree. Use the protractor to draw 90 degree at A. Keep the protractor, that is the center of the protractor at A and mark 90 degree and draw 90 degree. So, this is 90 degree and this is 60 degree. Now my dear students, sir, we have DE that is ED is equal to 4, four sorry 4 cm. Take 4 cm on the compass with the E as center, draw an arc which is 4 cm. Now AR is 4.5 cm, take 4.5 cm on the compass and with the AR center draw an arc of a radius 4.5 cm. So this is our point D and this is our point R. Simply join these two. And remember the measurement of our side AR is 4.5 cm. So the quadrilateral is complete. Again, first you draw EA using scale which is 5 cm. Now at E, mark the 60 degree angle with the protractor, draw angle 60 degree. At A, mark 90 degree with the protractor and draw 90 degree. Now DE is a 4 cm, take 4 cm radius and cut an arc with the E as center. You will get a D, this is 4 cm. AR is 4.5 cm, take 4.5 cm radius on the compass and with the A as center, cut an arc. So this is point R and this distance is 4.5 cm. Now simply join DR. The quadrilateral is complete. 
So, my dear students, this is how to construct a quadrilateral when three sides and the two angles are given. For the practice, you do the question number second of question number one from exercise 4.4. My dear students, I hope all of you understood the different methods of constructing a quadrilateral. Now, we will focus on few questions given in some of the exercises which are exceptional. The first one is from exercise 4.2, third one. The third question of exercise 4.2 is to construct a rhombus bend in which BN is equal to 5.6 cm and DE is equal to 6.5 cm. My dear students, based on the measurements, I have drawn a rough figure. Rhombus bend. Here you can see that no side of the rhombus is given. A rhombus is a parallelogram in which all sides are equal, but we are given no sides. BN is given 5.6 cm, which is a diagonal. DE is equal to 6.5 cm, that is also a diagonal. So we are given two diagonals of the rhombus bent and we have to complete the construction. This is not a method of the construction we have discussed so far. So this is an exceptional construction. Here we will use an important property of the rhombus that is the diagonals of a, of a rhombus bisect each other at the right angles. That means the diagonal BN and the DN will intersect at the point making four right angles. Also they will bisect each other. They will bisect each other means sir, this point will be the point of bisection. Bisection means divides into two equal halves. That means the diagonal BE will be divided into two equal halves at this point. That is, this will be half of DE and this will be also half of DE. Similarly, diagonal BN also will be bisected at the point. If this point is given O, the diagonal BN also will be bisected at the point O. So this construction can be done by using diagonals only. So first, I draw the diagonal DE or ED which is 6.5 cm. The length of the diagonal ED is a 6.5 cm. The other diagonal BN will be the perpendicular bisector of the diagonal DE because the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at the right angles. So next is to draw the perpendicular bisector of diagonal BE. All of you know how to construct the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment. For that, you have to use the rhombus. You take the radius which is more than equal to half of the length of the line segment B. For that, here I take the radius of the compass more than half of this distance and draw two arms, one with the E as center above D and below D. The second is with the same radius D as center one above AB and the second below AB. So you can see how to draw the perpendicular bisector. Now you have to join these two points using a scale. Here I join these two points using a scale and I get to the perpendicular bisector of the diagonal BE. Now the other diagonal BN will be along this perpendicular bisector and as I told you this diagonal also will be bisected that is above this it will be half of 5.6 half of 5.6 is equal to 2.8 centimeter so you have to take 2.8 centimeter radius on the compass and with uh, this point 
as the center, that is the point of division. Mark 2.8 cm above, 2.8 cm below. That is, this is 2.8 cm, this is also 2.8 cm. And here we get the point B and here it is N. Join BE, EN, BD, DN. The rhombus bent is complete. So this is an exceptional construction. I again repeat, first you draw the Diagonal D 6.5 cm, draw the perpendicular bisector of DE, take half of the length of the diagonal BN that is a half of 5.6 equal to 2.8 cm, cut from the, the point of division above DE 2.8, below DE also 2.8. So you get D and M. Join BE, EN, NB, and BD. The rhombus bent is complete. Next question we are going to consider is from exercise 4.5. Question number one. The question is construct a square read READ in which uh, RE is equal to 5.1 centimeter. Here we have the rough figure. Square read in which RE is 5.1 centimeter. No other measurements uh, are given. We have four different methods of construction. First one is uh, four sides and one diagonal are given. Three sides and two diagonals are given. Two sides and three angles are given. Three sides and two angles are given. Here we are given only one side. To complete this construction, we will use the properties of the square. You know that in a square, all sides are equal. If RE is equal to 5.1 cm, then EA is also equal to 5.1 cm, DR is also equal to 5.1 cm. Also, you know that each angle of the square is a right angle, so angle R as well as angle E are 90 degree each. So, hence, here we can use the method of a three sides and uh, two angles are given. The construction is very simple. You first draw the side RE using scale RE 5.1 cm with the scale. Use the protractor to draw 90 degree at R and uh, E. Sorry. So using protractor you draw 90 degree angles at R and E. Now DR is 5.1, uh, AE also 5.1. Take 5.1 cm on the compass and cut an R from R and E. So this is 5.1, this is also 5.1. This is A and this is B join. You get the square. So this is how we can complete the construction of the square read when RE is equal to 5.1 cm is given. I hope all of you understood this construction. The next question is question number 4 from exercise 4.5 itself. Question is construct a parallelogram OK where OK is equal to 5.5 cm and the KA is equal to 4.2 cm. Is it unique? My dear students, sir, based on the measurements given, I draw a rough figure pa uh, parallelogram OK in which OK is equal to 5.5 and KA is equal to 4.2. You know that the construction of quadrilateral is possible only if uh, five measurements are given because we have four different methods, four sides and one diagonal, three sides and two diagonals, two sides and three angles, three sides and two angles. You can see in all these different methods, minimum five measurements are given. So here we have only two measurements. But you know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So 
if OK is 5.5, AY is also 5.5. If KA is 4.2, OY is also 4.2. But now also we have only 4 measurements. Now how, how can we complete this construction? My dear students, sir, such a construction is not possible. Only this is possible if you draw a rectangle with these measurements. That is, you draw a rectangle. We can draw a rectangle because each angle of a rectangle is a right angle. That is, OK is a 5.5, KA is 4.2, OY is also 4.2. Each angle is a right angle. Is it a parallelogram? Yes. A rectangle is a parallelogram in which each angle is a right angle. So, the above construction is possible only if you draw a rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram. Therefore, we can complete the construction. So, this construction is also very easy. First, draw. Okay. 5.5 cm at the O and K mark 90 degree and draw the perpendiculars. This is 90 degree, this is also 90 degree. KA you mark the 4.2 cm, OY you mark 4.2 cm. Join A1. The rectangle is complete. Is it a parallelogram? Yes. A rectangle is always a parallelogram. So that is why it is unique. My dear students, uh, with this I wind up this lesson and uh, today's session. I request you all to practice all the constructions uh, we have discussed uh, in this video. In case of any doubt, you can ask your respective teachers. We will meet in the next video with another lesson. Till then, take care. Goodbye.